You're watching Terrier Vision. I like our game plan. Matter of fact, I love our game plan. But it comes down to, we got to do it. It comes down to, it ain't about the polls. They don't care that we're 17th in the country. They don't care that we're number one right now in the Southern Conference. They don't care. What they care about is how hard they're going to play. What they care about is how well they're going to execute. What they care about is whipping our tails. So I promise you this. If you don't come ready, you won't be ready. You won't be ready because by the time that you decide to be ready, it may be too late. Do you get my drift? Yes, sir. We can't come out of this locker room just in a daze. We got to come out on fire. So everybody, do your job. Everybody, give it everything you got. You got an opportunity to make the play. Make the play. Make the play. You got an opportunity for a stop. Stop them. Welcome into Gibbs Stadium. We're on this Saturday afternoon. The Wofford Terriers play host to the Presbyterian Blue Hose. Wofford entering the ball game with a record of two and two, while PC out of the Big South Conference comes in at one and three. Wofford has beaten the Blue Hose four straight head-to-head -head meetings. Presbyterian has not beaten the Terriers dating back to 1994 in a game at Snyder Field. Here are your highlights. Scoreless, 7-15 to play in the first. Wofford first and 10 from their 31. Dead center of the field, out of the wing bone. Fake of the dive, pitch far corner. Ray Smith turns the right corner, has room. 35-40, Ray Smith across the 40 to the 44. Second and seven, Wofford at the PC 20. One receiver wide to the right. A wing to the left is Harden. Two backs, fake of the dive by Jacks. Pitch far corner, Will Gay has room as he shifts inside the 15. Cuts left to the 10. No score, 240 to play in the first. Jacks out of the gun, two backs alongside, no wideouts this time. Hand off, and that'll be a booming carry. Inside the five, down to the four, goes Johnny Martin, his first run of the day. Terrier's second and goal at the four, two tight end formation. Johnny Martin, hand off, right side, keeps his legs churning to the two, to the one, touchdown! Terriers have the initial lead, touchdown Johnny Martin. Very impressive drive by the Walford offense. Under the direction of uh, first time starter Evan Jacks. Very nice. Four down linemen for Presbyterian. Jacks in the pocket. Time to throw. Lofts it deep downfield. Man open. Caught at the 35. That's Will Gay to the 30. He is caught from behind at the 25 yard line. They're going to spot him down at the 20 yard line. First and 10 Terriers. Jacks out of the gun. A wing left. A single wide out to the right. Two backs behind him. Terriers have a tight end lined up to the left and Michael Harp. There's a toss near corner on the option and that'll be a carry inside the 20. That's Raymond Smith to the 15 yard line. He picks up six. Second and goal from the seven and a half yard line right hash. Four receivers to either side. Jacks handoff. Donovan Johnson wants to sweep left. Beats a man to the corner. Makes it to the five. Diving for the pylon and he is out of bounds inside the one yard line. Terriers hustle it up. Fourth and goal from the one foot line. Again, two tight ends. Evan Jacks again. Second effort over the pile. Touchdown, Terriers. Jacks stuck the ball up above his head with two arms and got just enough across the plane. Griffin checking out of something and into something new at the line of scrimmage. Now he'll go out of the gun with Mays to his left. Griffin rolling to his left, sets up to throw, throws back across the field to his right, and that ball is caught for a touchdown by Gilkey in the back of the end zone. All right, Terriers first and 10 at the Presbyterian 22-yard line. Two receivers stack left. One will come in motion to the near side. Quarterback Michael Reimer running the option. Pitch near corner. Down the sideline goes Raymond Smith. 15-10. He's to the five, and he's smacked out of bounds hard at the four-yard line by Nick Newton. Two backs behind Weimer out of the gun. PC seven on the line of scrimmage. Handoff right up the middle, and that's a carry into the end zone. Touchdown, Terriers. Will Gay. One man with a short split to the right, also a wing to the right for quarterback Caleb Griffin, redshirt sophomore from Florence. Play action, looking to throw. Now he's flushed out of the pocket, and he'll be sacked. Taken down at the 23-yard line by Hunter Thurley. First and 10, Wofford at the 40, left hash. Terriers go out of the wing bone. 
Wide out to either side. Man in motion toward the near side is Harden. Fake of the dive by Weimer. He's got a seam as he carries to the 35. He is upended at the 30 at the 29 by the free safety, Corey White. First and 10 at the 29, Wingbone. Weimer, double play action with time to throw. Puts it up toward the end zone, far side. That is caught, touchdown Terriers. Family weekend here at Gibbs Stadium. Your halftime score, the Wofford Terriers 27 and the Presbyterian Blue Hose 7. On second down and four from the 32, this time out of the wing bone. It's a fake to Johnson. Pitch far corner. Will Gay breaks a tackle at the 30. He's got a first down to the 25, and he pushes the pile. About four white jerseys. First and goal from the four. Two backs alongside Evan Jacks out of the gun, and he will hand it away to Will Gay right up the middle. Bangs his way in. Touchdown, Terriers, and Will Gay. Clock rolls under five minutes to play in the third. Wofford up 27 points with the ball. Twins right, single man to the left. Hand off. Raymond Smith has a crevice. Makes his way to the 40. Cuts back to his right at the 35. Finally swarmed under at the 31. Raymond Smith gets 14. Terriers first and goal at the two. Two receivers left, one to the right. Evan Jacks out of the gun with a single back alongside him. Harden in motion to the right. Hand off Donovan Johnson. Left side. He's in. Touchdown, Terriers. Trips right, now a single receiver out of the backfield will motion left. An empty set for Griffin. Throws over the middle, Antigua can't catch it. It's tipped up in the air and now intercepted. Wofford football, Mike McCrimmon with a diving catch on a ball that was tipped in the air by the receiver, Toby Antigua. Play action for Griffin. His pass is intercepted. Picked off at the 35, return to the 30, 20, 10, 5. Touchdown, Terriers and Hunter thirdly. Oh, one of the big guys with an interception and a run back. That's what you just dream of if you're a defensive lineman. Second and six from the, he's not a Hall of Famer for nothing. There's a pass to the far side and that one's intercepted. Picked off by a Terrier return to the 25 down to the 21 yard line. Brian Anderson with the pick. Wofford. <laughs> First and 10 at the 22 in the PC end of the field. Lorenzo long handoff straight up the middle, breaking tackles. He's to the 10, he's to the five. Touchdown Terriers and Lorenzo long, 22 yards. That was a quick scoring drive. The Wofford Terriers pick up a win over Presbyterian on family weekend, and they do it in convincing fashion. Coach, you had two weeks off to get ready for this one. I know you had yep. a sour taste in your mouth from the Gardner-Webb game, so uh, how'd it feel just to, to play so well on so many different uh, levels? Well, it felt good. It, uh, it made that past two weeks of work worth it. Uh, we, we had committed ourselves to getting better, and uh, not only as a staff, but uh, as a team. I thought we had great leadership uh, throughout the two weeks. We made it physical, uh, and uh, we, we did our best to tax our guys and, and to push them. I think uh, when you look at the ball game, uh, we had a great game plan for both sides of the ball. I thought that uh, defensively we, we shut the run down and made them pretty much one-dimensional. Uh, offensively, we got on track. Uh, Evan Jacks came in and did a very nice job. Uh, nice job as far as uh, reading the option. Uh, sometimes, even uh, when it wasn't uh, exactly the way you draw it up, uh, he was able to make additional yards and, and create some space for us and first downs. Uh, proud of the way that uh, our kids uh, came out and gave effort. And we had uh, some running backs that, that ran really well. Offensive line-wise, we started a new five, and uh, I thought they did a great job. So uh, overall, it, it was a good day, a blessed day, and uh, we've got an another challenge. This time, it's not going to be in two weeks. It's going to be a week from today. And uh, Elon's a quality team. They do a great job, and uh, we're going to have to play really well. 
What did it mean to the defensive performance to have, you know, Tarek Odom back and to have EJ back and, and just to have those guys back up front? You, you yeah. had three guys come back that didn't play against Gardner-Webb. Well, uh, it, it means a lot, especially since they're all number one guys. Uh, you could tell right from the get-go of the game, the very, uh, I think it was the second play of the game, Tarek tackled for a loss. And uh, all of those guys are guys that are very productive. They have productive numbers. They, they are guys that uh, allow us to play the defense that we play. They're guys that create uh, opportunities for our linebackers because uh, they're players that if you single up that they can beat you. And uh, very uh, pleased with the way that they played, uh, the intensity that they played with, and uh, look forward to uh, getting a look at the film and uh, just seeing how we did. Hunter, first of all, tell us about the pick six. Uh, it was just a just made a good read on it. Uh, I had a feeling it was coming, you know, preparation with film and all that. So I was pretty ready for it. What was it like going through that open week after losing such a difficult game and then coming out and playing well today? Uh, you know, it was uh, it was hard, hard having to think about that loss for two weeks. Um, but we really focused and practiced both weeks, and so we were we were really prepared for this game. Evan, how to get how did it feel to get out there and, and have your first start as a college player? Um, it was a good experience uh, going out there and starting and. Um, it's good the system we got going here, being able to rotate some people. So I can go in, get some experience, and then come out and learn from James and Mike too. When in the first quarter or, or where in the, the development of the game today did you feel like, you know what, I'm starting to put this thing together? I started feeling real comfortable coming out in the second half. Uh, I was being able to look at the defense some and uh, being able to look at things that we're doing and uh, know where we're going to be uh, bringing the ball. So with this afternoon's victory over Presbyterian, the Terriers raise their record to three and two, and from here on out, it's nothing but Southern Conference games for Wofford. That begins next Saturday here at Gibbs, 1.30 start, when the Terriers play host to the Elon Phoenix. I'm Mark Hauser. Thanks for watching Terrier Vision.